Okay guys, in this video, you are going to learn about material UI typography. Now, this is where we have left off from the previous introduction and setup video. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I will put the link on the description. So please check that out first. So what is typography component? Typography component is a component that handles everything about the text of your application. So every text that you insert. So everything that you write on the application, this header that you're seeing, the paragraphs is all handled by the typography component. So what I am going to do here now, inside the pages directory, I will create another file. Uh, I will call it typography.jsx. Okay, if you are using Next.js and if you don't know what pages directory is, pages directory is special kind of directory in Next.js. In pages, every JavaScript file that you are going to create, obviously you are going to create JavaScript file. The extension should be JS, JSX, TS or TSX. You can write TypeScript too. So every file that you're going to create will be treated as a HTML page. Suppose this index.js file is being treated as the root HTML file and it will show you the root route. And I have also created a typography.jsx file and this file will represent slash typography route. And all of the content that I'm going to put will be rendered to the slash typography route. Okay, makes sense. So I will open that up. So I'm just going to create a boilerplate React component with RAFCE snippet. Uh, actually, I forgot the uh, uh, snippet extension name. I will put the link on the description. It is available for both NeoVim and VS Code. Don't know about others. So I will call it text. And at the top, I will import typography from material UI core slash typography. So I will insert a typography component here. So typography. So in here, you can put whatever text you want. I will type up uh, this is a typography component. So if I save the file, start the development server with yarn dev command. And I will click the link. It will open up a tab on my browser and this is my root route and the content is from the index.js file and if i go to slash typography it will show me the content of this file typography.js okay and this is a tiny text uh, it's saying this is a typography component and if i inspect this and you can see that some material ui class names has been applied and those classes has some styles of font size, one rem, font weight, line height, so on. This using the P tag. So what if you want to change the tag, like instead of P, you want to use a H1 tag and the style will be of H1. You want a header text, right? So how would you do that? In the typography component, you can pass some props. I'll create a new component typography and I will call it this is uh, h1 text so I want uh, h1 text so what you need to do is pass a prop variant and the value would be the style that you want so I want a h1 style so I will pass h1 if you want h6 you can pass h6 so I want only h1 so I will save the file so this is our h1 text 
and on the elements tab you can see that the tag is not p like the previous one this is using h1 and it has some different styles like mui typography h1 and the previous one was using mui typography body one this is the default style and this is the h1 style that we have created and it is using font size of 6m 6 frame, 6 and totally different style so suppose if you want to have uh, some kind of paragraph styling you can do it you can pass something like uh, body one which is the default style you can also pass body two so if I just change it to body two Now this is a body2 text, the class name is body2, the first one is the body1. You can also pass something like captions, uh, subtitle1, subtitle2 and you might have said that how do I know all of this, actually I didn't create them, I read their docs, Material UI has a pretty good docs, so if you go to their website you will find a left navigation bar and if you go to components you will find some categories of components you have to go to uh, data display then you will find typography if you click on that you will be in this page and you will find how to use typography some demos and on the right side you will find the content section you can click on any of this link to jump to any section so click API you will be at the bottom of the page so if you click on this link it will take you to the API docs of typography so here you will find all of the options all of the props that are available for typography so so this is the variant prop you can pass all of this value to the prop so the default one is body one and the descriptions now you need to read the docs because just watching some videos will not gonna help you you're gonna learn more by reading the docs so let's move on suppose I want a h1 tag for some reason but I don't want the h1 style I want the h5 style how would I do this there is a there is a prop available for the typography component which is called uh, component so this is the one the value you need to pass is element type and the element type could be a html element i mean the html tag name or it could be a react component so let me just copy this one so i want the style to be h5 so i will pass h5 for the variant but i want the h1 tag so i will pass the component prop and the value will be h1 you can also pass um, react component so this is h5 text so if i save the file so this is the h5 text but the tag name is h1 the class name is h5 so this is how you would do this also you can pass a react component like i said so there is a component exist called button on material ui so import button from material ui slash core slash button so let's just copy it again now i want this to be button i'm just passing the react component and the i don't need the variant i want the button style i don't need to pass that so save so this is our button if i hover over it it has some uh, ripple effect so this is our button and as you can see it is using the button tag 
not the not any kind of um, h1 or p tag it is using the button tag and it has its own style you can check the docs of button let's change some color of the text in material ui there are two types of colors are available one is primary and another one is secondary so the typography can take a color prop here is the value some primary secondary text primary text secondary you can also have a error text so let's play with them so i'll copy it again so for the color i will pass a primary this is a primary text this one should be a secondary secondary text and the lastly the error this is a error text so let's save the file so this is our text this is the primary color secondary color and this is the error color you can obviously change the color with css also you can change the primary color secondary color with material ui theme and i will be going over the theme in the next video so hit the subscribe button to stay updated uh, let's see what else um, align you can align the text with align prop so suppose i want the secondary text to be at the center so align center and this is a centered aligned aligned so this is a centered aligned secondary text if i save now this text is at center of the screen i can make the error text to the left align uh, sorry the left one is the default i can align it to right now this is right aligned and it is not using any kind of flexbox or grid it is just adding the text align property so as you can see the secondary text has a uh, where it is a text align of center okay so this is how it's working it has just added a class name to make it center so i think that's all you need to know for a typography component you can also change the font size of every single variant with material ui theme again in the next video you can also change it with breakpoints i will also cover them in the course so i think i should close it now go to their docs play with them try it and the source code github link will be on the description so please check that out if you want to play with that code so that's it for today now i will go over material ui theme in the next video so stay safe goodbye